What's up guys, it's your boy Dime and welcome back to Dime Up Cuz. Before we get into the video, man, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. I want to thank everybody who came from TikTok or any other social media platform. Um, I really uh, appreciate that, you know, trying to make it on YouTube. And uh, yeah, man, let's get into the video. If you know about the title of this video, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Why is nobody talking about the Utah Jazz? I'm just saying, the Utah Jazz, as of right now, have 10 wins and 4 losses, and they are second in the West behind the Los Angeles Lakers. Why is this team not being talked about? Donovan Mitchell's playing pretty, very good basketball. He's averaging 24 on very efficient shooting, like 40-some-odd percent, and then like 36% or 35% from three. So, um... I don't see why many people are not talking about this team because this team is very nice. Um, defensively, they're uh, good. Let me look at their defensive rating real quick. Um, but this team is really good. Um, Rudy Gobert is playing very good defense. Um, they won against the Pelicans last night or yesterday um, by 16. And let me look at... Um, their other games and see how their point differential varies. So they won by four against the Nuggets, which is expected because the Nuggets are a very good basketball team. The record might not show it, but that team is very good. They won against the Hawks, won 16 to 92. Um, they won against the Cavs by 30, 117 to 87, which is kind of expected because it's the Cavs. Um, they won by 10 to the Jazz. Uh, I don't think that was a good, efficient night for them because they didn't crack 100 points. Um, they, ooh, I think they beat the Bucks by 13. It was 131 to 118. Um, they beat the Knicks. Um, the Net, my Nets beat them. Uh, the Jazz beat the Spurs. So this team is very good. They're they're beating pretty good teams. They beat the Clippers by six. They beat the Clippers. That should tell you something. So this team is very nice. Donovan Mitchell is averaging 24. Um, this team is very slept on. I know a lot of people were iffy on giving Rudy Gobert <clears throat> um, the Supermax contract of like 200 million plus. Uh, I know a lot of people were iffy on that, especially Sha Shaq, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, now that Rudy Gobert is the highest paid big man in uh, NBA history. I feel like that's just Shaq being salty. <laughs> but because he's not the highest paid NBA, you know what I'm saying. But um, a lot of people were iffy because like, yo, what he doesn't really have an offense, you know. Yes, he's won DPOY like three times, two times, but is he really worth the super max? Uh, this season, he is averaging about the same numbers he's always have been averaging. He's only on a two point nine point drop off um, from last season, but that's not really. Um, what you call it, that big of an issue because uh, he's averaging more blocks. He's averaging 0.7 more blocks. He's averaging less uh, turnovers. Um, his uh, field goal percentage, I think, is up from, or it is down from last season, but I feel like that's because of the neutral sites and not really feeding off of the uh, energy of the crowds. Um, he is averaging less minutes. Um, but overall, he's playing very solid basketball, especially for a player of his type. You know, he's not the type of your Carl Anthony Towns, or he's not your Anthony Davis. He's not your um, prototypical center for today. You know, he's one of those, he's the old school type center who's going to do Yo, I'm hungry. to, to um, you know, play good and, you know what I'm saying, right? So, um, overall... This team is very nice. I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen anybody talk about this team at all, which I'm very surprised because the Utah Jazz, they're, they were, they're a, a good, a, like a lot of people talk about the Utah, Utah Jazz, you know? So I'm, I'm kind of uh, surprised that nobody really has talked about the Utah Jazz, especially uh, my boy Kenny, um, KLT4Q, as many of you know him. But I'm surprised that. Kenny hasn't talked about this team. I don't know if he has. I don't think he has. But if he has, well, uh, tell me in the comments. But if he hasn't, he hasn't. Um, but I'm really excited for to see the rest of the season for the Utah Jazz, as they did. I think they did start off kind of slow. They lost, like, the first couple of games. 
um, which was kind of expected due to, like, the neutral side and all this stuff, you know. Good teams, I feel like, have... Good teams have been affected the most by this neutral site thing, you know. Um, the Knicks have been... The Knicks, through that first stretch of the season, have been playing very well. I don't know if that was due to no crowds and them always getting dominated, <laughs> even if they did have their home crowd, but... Um, I feel like the teams that are very good are the most affected by that. But anyway, um, I really do. I'm really uh, very, very excited for the rest of this season for the um, Utah Jazz to see where they finish. Could they be conference finals? Could they be in the conference finals? Could they be um, a, a first round exit? We never we might never know. I mean, they did lose in that seven-game series in the first round. That was very unfortunate um, of last season's playoffs in the bubble. That was very unfortunate because I wanted to see uh, Utah Jazz versus um, uh, uh, Clippers uh, series because I wanted to see how that defense, especially paint defense and perimeter defense, would go down. But other than that, man, uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. And also... Um, uh, tell me your thoughts about the Utah Jazz in the comments below. I want to thank anybody who came from TikTok. Uh, I want to thank anybody who came from TikTok, you know, or any other social media platform. If you're from TikTok, put it in the comments. If you're from Instagram, put it in the comments. If you're from Snapchat, put it in the comments. So, or if you're from Facebook, put it in the comments. So, um, anyway, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. I got a question for you. How can you like the video and not like and subscribe? 100. Ah!